Hey, what's up, guys? So here recently, I created um, some screensavers for my arcade because if you've had your arcade running for any amount of time, you have seen the dreaded flash crash screen. Now, it doesn't really have anything to do with hyperspin, in my opinion. I haven't Googled it or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's a memory leak and just it's going to happen. So what I've done is I've created screensavers so the arcade doesn't sit at a empty desktop and it looks like this now instead of just giving you and downloading the screensavers i figured i'm going to show you how to create them from any media file very easily and i'm going to go ahead and throw in you know one of the screensavers as well so let's get started all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and provide you the link down below but I'm going to show you a couple ways that I create screensavers with just standard images or video files. So one way is to, well, this is where I buy a lot of video for um, other things off of uh, Video Hive. And this is one that I recently bought specifically for this reason. So um, I think it was like 20 bucks. So you get all six and the guy who creates them is loopalizer i've got a few of his packs but anyway you want to head over to google and we want to google video screensaver don't click the cnet let's click the uh, source forge and you want to download video screensaver or you can just download the link below if you download the link below, I'm going to include one of the loopalizers and we're going to include this guy right here. And you can create your own and I'll show you. I've got it installed in my Windows directory under S Saver. If I can find it, there it is. So what you want to do is just download, then you extract it and just put this anywhere that you want to, you know, permanently house that screensaver. Once you've got it in a directory you want, right click on it, click install. Your video properties, your screensaver properties will pop up and you click the settings button and this will allow you to choose any of the screensavers that you want. And it's just any MP4, and the uh, AVI, most video formats are supported. So we can click preview. Yay. And so that's how you can easily do that. But if you want to do like, let's say multiple, uh, multiple files in the screensaver, and a lot of people didn't, don't even know that we can do this. Um, looks like I'm gonna bug. All right, a lot of people don't even know you can do this. So if I want to, if I right click on a video file and I go to open with, and if you have Earthframe View with all the plugins, I'm, it's opening up on one of my other monitors. So there we go. So I'm rendering right now, so it's really slow. So anyway, um, if you open it with Earthframe View, go to File, Slideshow. And let's add another video file. Let's do this one. And let's do this one. There we go. Now we remove it. And so we can adjust them in any order that we want. And let's select, since it's a video file, I'm going to do 30 seconds. And we want to make sure that loop slideshow is turned on. Uh, checked. You want to check uh, suppress errors. And this right here will have text in it. Just uncheck it. And hide mouse cursor. Now you want to hit save. Click save slideshow as exe. And you can do an exe. 
and a screensaver. So I'm going to go ahead and just create an exe file. It's going to be a little large, but that should have done it. And so we can do it again, except this time we're going to select screensaver. Exit. There they are. And it's actually much quicker to load. It's just I've got so much going on in this machine right now. And that's an easy way you can create a screensaver for your arcade and not have to see that big ugly crash you know, screen. So anyway, guys, hope that helped and we'll see you soon.